I've been working in the RabbitMQ simulator. The idea of this simulator is to teach users how to use RabbitMQ. For example, every time we work with Rabbit, we need to have a producer and a consumer that will get our messages. So the messages will go from producer to consumer. How we achieve that? First, we need to have an exchange, a place where to send messages. So we tell the producer to send the messages to that exchange. If we click here, we start publishing messages, but we can see that the messages, they go nowhere. Why? Because we need a queue. We need queues to hold our messages, and those queues need to be bound to the exchange. So let's add a couple of queues here and bound them to the exchange. That's cool. So if I click again, we can see the messages are going to the queues. That's nice. But we still don't get anything into the consumer, so we need to subscribe the consumer to the queue. Let's add another one just for the example. So if I subscribe this consumer here, we start getting messages. And we can speed up the message consumption, of course, if we attach more than one consumer. And the messages will all get round robin across all consumers. Also, the simulator has the capability of teaching the user via tutorials. In this case, we have a small tutorial that will show what I just demo there. So, for example, if I mouse over here, we can see what's an exchange. So, it's telling us to drag the exchange into the screen. Or we can also ask the tutorial to do the step for us, like that. Then we can click Next, see the next part of the, of the tutorial, and in this case it's asking us to drag a queue, so we can see what the queue is by doing a mouse over this keyword here. And of course, let's ask the tutorial to do this for us. Let's go next. Same, same, same thing here with the consumer. And we can add it automatically. And finally, we will get a producer. So if we ask the tutorial to do it for us, we get the, all the message topology built for us. And it start publishing messages so we can see how it works. That's it for now. This is a small example of what we can achieve with the simulator. There are many more things that I would like to add in the future, like a button to export the topology so I can export this into RabbitMQ, and also a way to import the topology so we can see how our messages are going to flow in the network. That's it.